why do we read novels and why do we write novels? We live inside our heads, which is a place of dreams and fantasies and wishes and desires, but we live out our lives in this shared real world. Novels offer us not just a map of the human mind, but a way to understand how the individual human mind interacts with the real world outside. When I was writing my first novel, I was sure it was all about the main characters, especially about the, main, the protagonist. But as I was finishing it, more and more minor characters kept arriving into the novel almost without my wanting it. And it made me think that we should look at minor characters as a way to understand what might be going on in the novel that isn't immediately apparent on the surface. And this is one of the things that I always try and emphasize in my classes, to look at the peripheral action of a novel. That's really where you'll find interesting, urgent questions being played out. My first scholarly book was about the relationship between ideas of family and narrative structure in the modernist novel. The idea of family is something that allows us to feel connected to the past in a meaningful way. A narrative, stories, do the same thing. And for that reason, narrative and family have always gone closely together. The marriage plot, the orphan plot, the paternity plot. And one of the things that happened, I think, in the modernist period with writers like Joyce and Proust is that they started imagining other ways in which one could be meaningfully related to other people that weren't biological. I think it was a very exciting moment, not just for the novel, but an exciting moment in how we think about what makes lives meaningful. There is a problem that not just the novel, but all kinds of narratives are facing, because what narratives depend on for a lot of their effect is distance and delay. So you need a delay in news coming to you, or you need to not be able to communicate with somebody else. Nowadays, our mobile technologies mean that many of the options for plots have been closed off for novelists. What stories can we have in this world where we're all permanently connected to each other all the time? How do you have adventures and how do you have stories in a world where you can't get lost? Odysseus, you know, would now have GPS, so he's not going to get lost and end up stranded on Calypso's island. How can the world be an adventurous place as it needs to be in a novel? I believe that our, our instinct for narrative and for fiction is so strong that it will find a way. I think we're going to need novels very much, formerly interesting novels in the future, to really give us again a sense of our world as being an adventurous place. It's hard to have that feeling in a world that is so connected, but I think novels will help us find it.